What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and in this video we are going to be talking about how to set up and use your three-point hitch in your John Deere 7R tractors. Now keep in mind this is going to be for the models of 7Rs that start with 7R at the beginning and three digits at the end. So before that change there were four numbers with the R at the end. So you'd have say like a 7210R at the end. This is going to be for models that start 7R with the three digits at the end. So we are in a 7R210 here and I'm going to show you with the screen and where the controls are on how to operate your three-point hitch. So let's go ahead and start with the controls. So if we look here, the first switch that we have here is going to be our three-point hitch switch. And it has the little symbol on it that shows the draft arm there for the three-point hitch so if we want to either drop that three-point or raise that three-point up we can simply do that by pushing down or raising up now while we're doing that we can also see in the top left corner of our screen here we have the rear hitch screen so as I am dropping that down we can see that arrow right there going down or we can go all the way up and that is going to go to the all the way up. Now the thing about this switch is you can push it forward and backward and do that manually. But you also have a point where you can push this once we've got it lowered down. If we want to go ahead and raise that all the way up, we can pull up and back to where it clicks. And then once it clicks, it's going to raise that all the way up. So that is one feature of that rear hitch. Then if we go over here on the right hand side of our controls, this dial here is where we are going to be able to set our drop position. So as we can see, we have a little line right down here on our screen. That is going to be where that position is. So right now we have this little line set right here. Now if we want to change that position, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to our little scroll knob to the right and we are gonna go ahead and start to lower that down to where we want right now if we were trying to reach that we would dial that back up and see now on the screen there right there is the position we're at 54% so if we wanted to lower that down we would go ahead and lower roll that dial then we have our set button here we would set that then that is going to set our new rear depth so that way we know that if we are in a certain implement and we want it lowered down to that position every time whenever we are lowering with our switch or raising up here we have a spot that we know where to stop so as we're lowering as we're lowering we know that we want to be at that depth right there every time we have that marked to where we can simply do that every time now also what we can do over here on our right hand side is we also have this lock button so if we want to we can actually hit the lock button it's going to tell us on the screen here hitch lock dampening engaged so if we happen to hit this switch over here for our three point nothing is going to happen we have that three-point hitch completely locked out it's going to stay wherever it's at we cannot adjust it so just know that if you want to lock that out you can or we can hit that button and unlock it now there are going to be some other features here within the screen that you can actually go in and customize if we touch on that screen here we can change the upper limit we can change the drop rate we can change the raise rate the position is what i was just showing you before using that roll dial and also using our switch so we can change it here we can adjust our slip sensitivity and also our load depth so all of these things can be customized within that rear hitch button very easy to get to we have it right here on the screen we can hit it here we can also go into that menu tab go to rear hitch and we have the same thing here so you have full customization over your rear hitch to make sure that it's going to fit the operation that you're doing but you have to know where to go to get into those settings to make sure that you can optimize this machine to the best of its ability so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are looking for more information like this here make sure to go check out the rest of the channel and as always guys thanks for watching 
We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.